is Pastor Kim coming to you with a Friday devotion. When we read the book of Exodus, we encounter the Ten Commandments that God gave to the people through his servant Moses. And one of the important, well they're all important, but one of the most important commandments that we find near the top is the commandment to honor the Sabbath day, to remember the Sabbath day, and to keep it holy. It used to be a lot easier to do so. Uh, stores were closed, businesses were closed, it was even hard to get uh, gas for your car. Those of you who are old enough remember those things called blue laws. But now everything's open, it's another shopping opportunity, and uh, People, if it's their only day off, use the day to rest and do errands and housework, all those other things that just need to get done and there's no other day to do it. Also, students have sports that, even though Sunday used to be a holy day and there were no sports scheduled, that is no longer the case and uh, many Many kids are involved in sports, both locally and on traveling teams that take them away. But I want to tell you that being involved in all of these things and remembering the Sabbath day to keep it holy are not mutually exclusive. They're really not. I remember when I was a pastor in La Crosse, there was a family who appeared at our Redeemer Lutheran Church where I was serving. They were people unfamiliar to me, a mom and dad and four boys, all ranging uh, from taller than I was to uh, quite a bit shorter. It seems they were in town for a wrestling tournament and uh, it was their practice that whenever they were out of town they would find a church where they would attend because it was important for them even though their children were involved in special activities on Sundays it was very important for this family to remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. So we had a nice chat about that and I congratulated them on their um, on their devotion to honoring and keeping that commandment and I, I told those boys that even though they might not appreciate it now, someday they would appreciate that mom and dad had made sure, even when they were out of town, that they would attend worship. A year later, the same family returned. Each of the four boys a little bit taller and now not just one boy was involved in a tournament, two boys were. And during the nine years that I served at our Redeemer in La Crosse, seven or eight of those years, once a year, this family would come. The oldest graduated from high school and went off to college, and the little one eventually made his way up to being the tall one. But I will never forget this family who made keeping the third commandment, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy, as, um, as a part of their family mantra. It's what they lived by. And their children learned to uh, become accustomed to that. They didn't think it was weird, even though they were the only kids on their team who had been to church before a tournament on a Sunday afternoon. So even though the world today is so busy and there are a lot of things competing for our time and attention and devotion, it is still possible if you make an effort to always, always remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Hope to see you at Sunday worship, either in person at 9.30 or 11 a.m., remember to sign up, or live stream at 8.30. Have a great weekend.